up guys, it's TJ here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, today I wanted to talk about something that's been popping into my mind pretty recently. Um, it has to do with the ego and how uh, the ego can easily sabotage all the success that you've been able to accumulate through God's grace and your hard work. So recently I've been able, I've been blessed with, you know, uh, some success in my personal life and in my job life and stuff. And um, it's made me become more aware of when my ego wants to come up and, you know, take credit for things and, and just hold on and be like, oh, wow, this is great. You know, me, you know, get recognition, essentially. And... Um, I've been doing this a couple videos ago. I mentioned this thing where I've been practicing checking my ego. Where throughout the day, I'll go throughout my day and I'll monitor my thoughts and my actions and stuff. And I'll make sure to be cognizant that whatever I'm doing, if I get some sort of praise or recognition, I make sure that my ego doesn't run with it. Because the ego is like a little child, you know, it doesn't know what it's bad at. So everything you say that is good, like if you get recognition, it's going to run with that. And it just has the ability to take, to, to take you away from the actual experience of it. You know, the real uh, depth of the experience, you know, if you want to just be on the surface level and the recognition of it. That's like the, e the the ego part of it, I feel like. So I've been noticing that. And um, also noted, I also came across this book after I finished The Obstacle is the Way. I, I uh, looked into that author, his name is Ryan Holiday, that author's other books. And one of them is The Ego is the Enemy. And, um, you know, I dove into it. And one of the things that they said was the best fighters in the world are the most humble. Because what they do is hard, so it's inherently humbling. So right there you can see the correlation between greatness and humility. Or greatness and the absence of ego. So that's something that, I, that uh, stuck out to me. And, um, you know, I wanted to uh, just instill why, along with this practice of checking my ego at the door. You know, with all the with, with my experiences, and you know, one way that I like to combat the ego is to just say, "No, I'm a student." You know, I'm a student. I'm always learning, always learning. Um, once you say you got it, you know, life will hit you over the head, over and over again, because things are constantly advancing. So, if you allow yourself to be a, a, a universal learner and constantly in a state of learning it get it takes you out of that uh this is my experience i did this you know i i'm great because i did this you're not it's not about recognition it's not you know it's not recognition is great when it comes and um positive reinforcement is amazing it's great but it, it's not it shouldn't be the motive and for ego that my, that that a lot of the times is the motive, you know, because there are going to be times where you're going to be called for service in whatever whatever the arena may be. That's not going to be the popular decision. It's not. You're going to be disliked by some. You might be even hated by some. Called names, you know, and and cursed and all this stuff, and. This is when it's you. If you come from ego and your ego gets confronted with that, all that ego is going to have a tough time. Either being defensive or shying back and, and feeling kind of scared. If you are yourself and you've been able to check your ego, you'll be able to stand tall during those moments because you know what you're doing is the right thing. You know, even if it's not the most popular. So... Yeah, just I've just been mindful of catching my ego whenever it wants to interject into my experience. 
and you know just take credit for an experience or take credit for some sort of praise or recognition or good fortune that has come my way you know it's very it's much better to be at the subtle humble end of reception you know one is it's a better quality you you continue to make yourself available to receive and two you continue to uh, change, you know, grow and, and learn. Like I said, being a student, you know, the ego will shut the door. Like, the ego has the capacity to shut the door on what you've been learning. So, being mindful of when it pops in and out of your experience throughout the day and throughout the motives of your actions will help you to uh, stay in that space of being receptive and being progressive so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys I hope you guys are having an amazing day a great night if you guys got anything from this video be sure to share like comment and subscribe you know the deal remember a greater perspective can lead to a greater connection peace